Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This one is a relatively short video because this is just your Ides of March reminder about your AAA status. Now your AAA status is 2,500 points. That's the goal you're searching or playing to achieve. So since this is, well, technically it will be when this day ends, it'll be right just a hair short of halfway through March. So you need to be around the 1200 mark to be on par with achieving your AAA status. Let's go look at the profile so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see, I'm a lowly double A. Well, not so lowly, but... AAA status, 2,500. Right now, I'm at 1,443. Now, I'm going to tell you the best way to gauge your progress is take the date. Today is the 15th. Subtract one because you're seeing yesterday's end of day total. So I'm seeing, you know, March 14th. That's the total I'm seeing. You want to be 80 points a day. You want to be right on that. So 80 points times 14 is 800 plus 320. That's 1120. So if I'm 1120, I'm going to be just a hair under what I would need to make 2500 at the end of the month. Since March has 31 days, if you did 80 points a day, you'd end up with 2480. You'd be 20 points short. But you'd know this in advance and you'd be able to play some extra matches on a, the last two days or three days of the month. Whatever, just to ensure that you're going to make it. So all you have to do is average just a hair over 80 points. 81 will do it. It's actually less than 81, but 81 points a day average will do it. So I'm well ahead of that. I'm... Four, I'm, you know, 1,440, I'm over a 100-point average. I'm making it no problem. If you're short, since you need to be, what, 1,120 to be at 80, and then another 14 would be 1,134. 1,134 is dead on where you need to be. If you're short of 1,134, make time on the weekend or whatever to, you know, get in extra games, what have you, to score it. Now, one of the best ways to do that is to play some low-tier matches that are relatively fast and preferably successful. You get more points if you win. You get more points if you win and survive. You get more points if you win, survive, kill a guy, etc., etc. Okay. I don't go through the breakdown of that because that's just minutia that just gets gobbledygook kind of mire and I'm like that's not cool check your numbers it's the simplest and easiest thing to do you don't really want to go and play a bunch of tier 10 matches if you want to get AAA status because the tier 10 matches can get long and boring it'll take the fun and the zing right out of you you know find whatever is interesting interesting matches for you are going to generate more interest you're going to have more more fun doing it and it'll feel less grinding i guess is the way to put it so like i said we're almost halfway through the month you need to be close to halfway or preferably higher you know if you're hitting like 1200 at this point today you're doing really you know well above average and you're not in trouble. Like I said, I was lucky. I'm over 1,400. But that's just me doing my regular stuff. And I do, you know, quite a few 38H commander missions. Those missions tend to be very short. You know, four 
to five minutes each. And when you, you know, if you just throw in an extra four or five of those a day, you know, it makes a difference. And you don't have to play 38H. You play whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I'm just giving you the thing that works for me. So keep a positive, you know, springy mentality. You want to be happy and have fun. Don't go and just go, oh, man, I have to play these slow matches of blah, 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 whatever it is. They'll take the zing right out of you. Do what's fun. And preferably those fun matches are ones that will be, you know, in the five five minute range. As a rule. You're always going to have exceptions. Some super quick, some super long and boring. But, you know, don't get too tied up in it. If you're having a good time with good matches, you're going to have this, you know, take care of itself, no problem. But... Like I said, I just wanted to show you what the situation was for myself. Remember, we're working on original three-nation operation where you can earn those tanks. This is a real helper, you know, tier three and above. So work on those matches that help you there. You see my sexton artillery. That's one of my killers that helps me on that. I have another great one, too, right here that I use. This is the Martyr 38T. This is another great scoring tank for myself. But, you know, whatever floats your boat. You know, do it. And, you know, pound it out. Work on your long hauls. Check this out. Original 3. I'm doing okay. I got 300 points. It's not, not bad. Could be more, but, you know, I'm not worried about it. But, long haul. Yeah, 69. I'm working on that. I'll knock that off today. So the long haul work with your original three operation, as well as your AAA status, they all are going to go work together. So that's why you want to do something that's fun, exciting, interesting for you. So me, I'll do tier four sniper, or you know, tier three artillery. Casual, no no problems for me. Easy to do. So make it fun for yourself and you'll have a much better time. You'll have more success running these missions for your operations. So basically that is the end of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Learn something. Tell your friends if you would. That way they have a chance to learn about this. Possibly like and possibly subscribe. So I got more stuff I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to go take care of that momentarily. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon.